Hey guys, it's Admiral Robbery. One thing that I forgot to include in the last part when I was talking about preparations was, um, this. I meant to put it in, but if you go over here, you will find that this is the house of, um, Wes. You know that one guy who, uh, got duster and stuff? Yeah. Well, behind his house, you can get a thunder bomb. And thunder bombs. Well, actually, um, if you talk to him as well, he will give you. Ah, uh, stupid. Well, I, at least the inventory space is bigger than the other two. He will give you a thunder bomb. But you might think, oh yeah, it's pretty cool that you can get two thunder bombs like that. But wait, because thunder bombs, bombs are very powerful items, and the boss of this chapter is very, very weak to the thunder bombs. So thunder bombs are definitely a good item. But if you go up to here to the crossroad, what well, something very, very cool that will happen is if you then after going to the crossroad, go back to Wes's house. Yeah. And you check behind his house, you can get another one. You can do this as many times as you want. In fact, I'm going to stock up on maybe one or two more. But anyway, this is just one part that uh, it's going to be disconnected from the rest, but I'm still going to put it in with the next part because I meant to show it with uh, the last part, but I forgot. So, yeah, see ya. Hey guys, Admiral Bobbery again. Um, back from our other three in the last part, we made some preparations for the onward journey. Anyway, oh, where'd the greedy mice go? Uh, is this? Yeah, big yam yeah monsters will still be here, which is not, so yeah, they're gonna be pretty easy. Because they say they're easy, and then they start being really annoying. Ooh, big cam. Eh. Oh, yeah. That one mini boss that we fought inside, uh, Liar's Place? Yeah, that's a normal enemy now. Of course, it's not as hard, but... Dang it. This music is actually pretty hard to combo to. Whatever. But, I do recommend training for, I don't know, not too much, but a bit. Uh, mm hmm Okay, but, anyway. <coughs> Anyway, if you go up here where Lighter's house used to be, there is a chance that you will see a very, very rare enemy. After the lighters happen and after it stops raining, you will have a very rare chance of finding an enemy called the Soot Dumpling. Uh, this, oh, there it is right now. It's very easy to back attack. It's, um... The whole thing about it is that it's very, 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 very high defenses. Um, it will only take one hit point of damage from your attack, so you're going to have to combo in order to beat it. And it will run away after a while, so yeah. Great. Oh, see, they don't have a lot of attack power. He got a smash hit and they only did one damage. That's what I'm talking about. He should be dying soon. Uh, that's another thing you can do. Uh, 
Oh well. This enemy isn't as rare as some other rare enemies in the game. So, uh. See, it's. There. Ah! Uh, don't dash around it, or else it'll blow away. I'm gonna cut it right here and then resume after I've gained a few levels fighting sit dumplings, okay? So, yeah. Hello, I'm back. I faced a couple of suit dumplings and I'm level 17 now. To be honest, that's kind of over leveled. Nonetheless, I don't even know. Anyway, they're, the suit dumplings are a pretty good enemy to fight if you're kind of under leveled. I would recommend being from 14 to 18 for like kind of the rest of this chapter and also I can now skip over Big Dian Monsters and Mighty Bitey Snakes but not any of the other enemies like that and I just got back tacked. First time I've ever gotten back tacked. But um skipping over enemies will not get you experience. Uh as I was saying, skipping over enemies will not give you experience, but what it will give you is uh I don't know. Um, it won't give you any experience like an Earthbound. That was weird. As you can see, my attacks are doing quite a lot of damage. I do not want to make yam because I am already... What's on here? And an antidote. Why would I go down here to get an antidote? That actually did get poisoned whenever I was going, and uh, I had to go all the way back down to the hot spring, and oh god. Not fun. See, they, they die in one hit. I mean, I know they're kind of frail enemies, but still. Even the flying mice are kind of dying pretty easily. There is some peculiar cheese, which I want, because it will heal 60 HP. Um, Flint, and, uh, yeah, there, for peculiar cheese, if you like the food, which I'm pretty sure Flint and Duster do, um, it'll heal 60 HP. Ooh, ooh, my favorite enemy, or one of them. You cannot back attack it, so don't bother trying. It's called the Walking Bushy. And, uh, see what it can do. Oh my gosh, it's trying life up out, but it's gonna heal itself. Oh no! Fail. He will actually heal us. He will never attack us, and he just heals you. Eh, uh, he can still do that. But that just solidifies you. It won't actually damage you in any way. And he dies. I'm sorry, but... Also here are these guys. They like to attack in groups. They're called the Spud Bugs. I didn't mean to do that. So that's really the easiest way to deal with them. Except they can heal themselves. And something tells me that they're all gonna heal themselves. Yep. Uh, that can get annoying, but keep persistent. See. They'll go away in enough time. See? They're not really that threatening, and a running bomb. Ooh, running bomb. What? No! No. Yes. I will throw away my... Big game. Because running bombs are cool. See, I can already skip over them.
Um, I think I'm gonna end off the part right now. Oh god. Ah! Okay, I'm not about. I kind of be finding this really, really annoying. I mean, I'm gonna end this part now. Okay, goodbye.